think that just maybe being the 2014 Gridiron Ladies champion, that one of your fellow teams would give you a call, maybe a, an email, you know, congratulations, Karen, you're the best, what a season. Uh-uh, nothing. And then I am the 2014 regular season champion, and still nothing. So I had to go out and find myself a crown. Way to go, Karen, you're the best. Great season. First week, I beat Senator Karen Housley, not bad. I hear she's going around, you know, all winner, winner, chicken dinner, you know, I got the crown type thing. My favorite moment was definitely the CBS morning show, and we had food, fun, football, and charades, and so it makes for a really fun night. Duh, beating Amy Coke. Oh, it's a tie between every time I crushed another unworthy opponent. When I beat Reed Housley by one point the next morning, after we were tired and we went to bed. If I predict the future, though, my favorite moment will be when I win this, the league this year. I think it's it's really quaint that women try to play. Um, you know, we all know that women obviously can't possibly understand sports as well as men, and so it's really important that they play together because I, if you add even one man in, you know, the whole league's going to be wrecked from a competitive standpoint. So I think it's great that you've got a bunch of girls that are all playing together so that they all have a chance. And maybe at the end you could award all of them a certificate of participation. Hi, it's Sunday. It's the first Sunday of the playoffs and it's game day. This is the way a real GM does it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got a little running back issue. And so I need my wide receivers to outperform. I've got Greg Jennings in the flex position. Uh, and I've got some uh, sideline passes. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna lead my team to victory. Let's throw to Jennings today, please, Teddy. I haven't been able to uh, get one on one with Jennings. I'm gonna keep working on that. But this has been a good day. I feel very good about my chances here. I might even have to tweak my lineup a little, move Jennings up. We're gonna rack up some points. Second fumble in the jungle. Ah! I think the trophy is entirely too small and needs more bling. The heel means that we have finally made it in this place called Earth. It means that our team's preparation and opportunity has led us to success and we've finally made it big. I thought that I liked the trophy, I liked the idea of having a trophy, until certain members of our team have used our trophy to stomp all over the rest of the players. So right now, fine, I'm okay losing because you know what, somebody else can have that trophy because I don't think it's very nice. Really girls, a tiara, a high heel, for a football trophy? No wonder I'm not winning this year. I think shoes come better in pairs. I love the trophy, not as much as Karen. I'm not gonna like kiss it or anything, but I do love our trophy. I have the best traveling trophy. The traveling hard hat. I think the heel is fabulous. I love the heel. I hate the colors of the heel. I would like a little more green in the heel. Your league has the tackiest trophy I've ever seen in my entire life. I have made some space on my mantle for the heel, um, so that will look fabulous once it's displayed. Beautiful, it's sparkly, and it will be mine. If I pick up my phone one more time and I have 150 texts, I'm gonna scream. There's too much, it's too much, too late at night. I don't know how you people stay up so late texting, and how do you get all those little, little, Celebrities doing funny things. I don't know. I think everyone will recognize that I was disproportionately and unfairly targeted. And let's work on that for next season, ladies. I can only imagine what the smack talk in an all-female league is like. I, I, I assume it's nothing like what it is in a guy league where we routinely will taunt each other with the notion that our team is going to effectively like tear the head off of the opponent and defecate down the neck hole. You know, that's not the kind of smack talk that's probably going to be in this league, and I'm imagining if anybody even tried anything like that, there would be tears, and then there'd have to be, you know, some kind of a, a make-good session where, every, you know, everybody's, you know, maybe involved in a crying session together, and it, it'd all be very, very, very dainty. My thought is, we're all ladies. We have a lot of words, and we use our words, and that's good. And so sometimes that results in 70, 80 text messages waiting for me to get caught up on on a Sunday, Monday, or Thursday evening. But it makes, it makes it all fun and, um, you know, I get to learn cooking tips and football tips and I try to participate in Smack Talk even though I'm really bad at it, but I do enjoy it. 
I don't do smack talk because I'm way too nice for that. I think our league would be completely different and maybe not as fun if smack talk didn't exist. So um, it keeps us up late at night sometimes, but it definitely is a huge part of our league especially, and I do love it, even though I am bad sometimes. I think it would have to be right after Senator Housley got bit by the dog, and I put the little chihuahua and asked if it was too soon. Does this one remind you of anything, Karen? I don't want to talk about this. Amy's going to have to buy me wine. It's her fault I drank all of mine. I'm writing hate mail to Colin Kaepernick. My favorite text was, I might not be good at winning elections, but thank goodness I'm still good at fantasy football. Um, don't hurt yourself as you pat your own back, Karen. I'm headed to my lucky bar in Golden Valley to watch the game. All are welcome. Kate, you are welcome, but you will be taunted. All in all, I just wanted to say thank you to all the ladies in the league. I may have been the youngest, and you may have been a lot older, but I had a blast. I just hope that next year in my Gridiron Ladies Fantasy Football League, maybe one of them could give me a little bit of competition. Just saying. Uh, next year? That's mine. I got your number, Housley. I just want to add one thing. If any of those other girls have their undergarments in a bundle and are trash talking about me, just remember who's champion. You did beat me in playoffs, but you're also 50, so good luck. <laughs>